Hi guys, it's Sunday afternoon. It's a beautiful day here in sunny Warwickshire and I am at Kenilworth Castle. And uh, fans of Invasion of Planet Earth will know this is where we shot the opening scene where the kids go running over the hill. Um, but I, I had a chat with a friend of mine, a filmmaker friend of mine the other day, Ray McCormack. And he was telling me, he said to me, look Simon, your campaign, it's great. The movie's looking fantastic, very excited about it. But you're not telling people about the characters or about the story. and. Uh, I've sort of, I, you know, I had to kind of agree with him. Um, I've kept it very much the story in the dark. You've got a brief synopsis on the Indiegogo page, but uh, no story. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of one of the characters and uh, how important they are within the story. Um, basically, the, the story sets in three alien worlds called Babanthia, and, and they live on Babanthia One. Our, our heroes do. And the sun's unstable and it's, it's going to flare up and the world's sort of on their last legs and they've got environmental problems and that sort of thing. So the world's in trouble, okay, these worlds are in trouble. And they discover a planet really in distant, you know, the, near another sun. It's a long way away. And, but they don't want to send people there because it's too, the journey's too dangerous. They've got massive asteroid fields and they've got lots of things, reasons for them not to do it. So Fasil, who is the kind of head politician of the worlds, uh, decides to create a robot. It's going to send a robot um, to, to get on the mission, to get to this new planet called Alonia, and then set it up ready so they can start exporting people over there. Um, and, uh, and so they build this robot called Torg. And originally Torg was going to be kind of a mechanised robot, but they decided to make, a, make it a female and uh, make it um, very much like a human person, which is convenient because it's a low-budget movie. Anyway, this guy Fasil has recently lost his wife and uh, he's got a young daughter called Malia, who's about eight years old. And obviously she's highly bereaved. And uh, they bring Torg into the family home to, um, to get to know um, Malia and to teach her and stuff. But the thing about Torg, what they decide to do is give her very human characteristics. They, they create this kind of chip inside her so she's got emotional intelligence. Um, so she can feel and is sensitive and is, it understands what it's like to be you know human like like the like the people on this planet um and of course as she starts to work with malia they get a bit of a bond a kind of a mother and daughter bond and obviously malia's lost her mum so torg is the next best thing however when Fasil hadn't really kind of seen this he's always regarded she's just a robot she, she'll do whatever i tell her and he gets a bit a little bit jealous of of the re relationship between them anyway the day comes when they, they launch and, and they're going to send her off. Now, they don't tell her that they're going to send her off. They're just basically trying to raise her memories and, uh, and send, her, send her off uh, to, to head up this starship that's going to go off and find Elonia. Um, but Torg is very, very clever, very intelligent, and got all the information that these worlds have ever known. And um, she works how to get her memories back. So Torg, you know, is absolutely in love with this little girl and really doesn't want to... Um, does, just doesn't want to go but of course she's forced into it she's sent off and Fasil really thinks that Torg is bad for his daughter so while she's on on the way there she's on a two-year mission to go to Elonia um, he won't let them speak so they they communicate with Torg but they won't allow Malia to and of course Torg gets really bitter and twisted and you know and she, she's like a she feels like a slave and she gets there and starts to set the planet up ready for the sort of the export exportation of all these people but she's really angry and bitter and ultimately um she becomes so bitter she decides that the that they're not going to have this planet she's going to go back and she's going to take over and that's kind of what what happens um and there's a masses of wars and very very exciting stuff but it's a very emotional story and it's about how how people are treated and how you know we all have dreams and ambitions and and when you're not allowed to express yourself or be be the thing you want to be it's um you know it's not it's not healthy for for us and uh, you know it's very much in support of women and women's rights and 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 that sort of thing um so it is a very emotional story and it's and i think it's actually quite an important story yes it's um it's it's on a sci-fi kind of platform but there's a lot to be said there um and i'm i'm hoping that uh, people will like it it's it's very different to invasion planet earth um and it will move and inspire and there's all the exciting stuff but you know there's a lot of emotion in there and you know about parenting and all sorts of things so uh, anyway i hope that that 
helps. Um, we've got, um, I think we've got about 13 or 14 more days left on the campaign. Um, we're nearly at 10%, actually. We, we, as I record this, we're at, we've raised 1,950, 1, which is brilliant. So thank you so much, guys. I know it's a really tough time. We're all being squeezed financially, which is just a nightmare. But please do come and be part of it, because I think it's going to be it's going to be a really special film. It really is. I, I, I'm very excited about it. And in June, we're shooting with um, the actress that we've got to play Torg. And as soon as we've done that, and I've got photographs, I will introduce you to her. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye.